Hey there, welcome, welcome back to my kitchen. Erin Moore here, founder of Success With More Nutrition. And today, we're going to do it, yes, make meatballs in a crock pot. So yes, this is gonna be super fun, super cool, pretty simple, just a little bit of prep work before we put it into the crock pot, but then it just cooks for five hours and uh, it's delicious. So here we go. Um, basically what I have here is chopped up carrots, and um and celery and i like to cheat oh i had my bag to show you but i like to get like the already little finely sliced up little mini carrots and then i just do a few little chops like this kind of circle it back around i know it might be hard to see but this is all i'm doing guys and then celery i just took the celery and stripped it in the little fine teeny tiny strips and then chopped it up and then we've got our finely diced um, stuff here. Before I went and pushed record, I went ahead and already heated up um, some oil. So I'm just gonna put this into the pan and just let this cook up basically for about a minute, guys. So we're just cooking this up. And while this kind of just gets mixed all in, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna start getting the crock pot ready. So with the crock pot, um, I'm gonna dump in what's gonna essentially be our sauce, okay? Um, so I just went ahead and got the crushed tomatoes. And for those of you who don't know, everything that I'm making is gluten-free and FODMAP friendly. So for those that have to do low FODMAP, you're good to go. For those who don't know what I'm talking about, no problem, just keep on watching and eat a delicious meal. But I like the Simple Truth organic, um, brand it doesn't have stuff that for people like us that can't have the garlic and the onion for low fodmap can have so just check the ingredients on the back of your can if that's a restriction if not just any old crushed tomatoes will do you can also use tomato pasat. um i just go ahead and just kind of make my own then i'm adding in some par some basil here guys and then we're going to add in some parsley if it wants to come out not being totally friendly with me. Just a little bit of a mess here, and that's okay. And then I have some garlic-infused oil, guys. So if you are not restricted on having um, oil and garlic, you could feel free to add that in, if you'd like, into the pan when you're cooking stuff or into the sauce just to give it that flavor. Um, for those of us that can't have those things, garlic-infused oil is the bomb. All right, guys, so I just went ahead and kind of cooked this up. And then um, before I stir that in, I'm just gonna go ahead and give our little mixture with our seasonings and the crushed tomatoes, just a little bit of a stir here. And then we'll go ahead and add these in and pull this forward a little bit. And we're gonna add these in here. and a friend playing outside. So we might be getting a visit from them. Yes, I'll be right. All right, guys, I'm back. The woes of three and four year old girls and boys are the bugs outside. So they're safe now and we are back. So basically I already have some ground turkey in a bowl, a little bit of pepper that I spilled earlier while pre pouring this. But so then we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of pepper over here. Um, just a little bit of paprika, but I never mind. A, little extra but a pinch of paprika um we got the pepper already and then i just have gluten-free quaker oats but just any kind of oats that you guys like that you want to put in here got about a half a cup here we're going to sprinkle that in and then guys i went ahead and took my rings off just before i came back on and then we're just going to squish this up with our hands so that it's all nice and mixed Want to get those oats and peppers all evenly mixed in here. And then we're just going to go right to um, kind of pulling these apart. So really with about two pounds of turkey, you're going to get about four or 40 or so. I'm not going to really magically, uh, met, you know, count them out, but you'll get about 40 little meatballs. So when you're pulling them apart, really just kind of pulling apart about a walnut size. And then we're gonna end up circling them up and cooking them in the pan. So let me get my hands washed and I'll right, be right back. back. So I wasn't thinking ahead 
Oh, I need to shrink because I turned this so you could see this. Um, but I wasn't think thinking ahead with all the goo on my hand. So basically, um, I rolled all of these little balls up. Think ping pong size ball. Um, I started a little bit smaller, um, got a little bigger as I went. Um, but so around 40, I have about 46 here. But again, I started with some a little bit smaller. Um, so then we're just going to let it cook up so that they're browning on all sides. So... Um, Right now, we've got that cooked up. All right, sorry for the brief off and on. Another interruption from the girls. I have a, a three-year-old girl and her best friend lives behind us who's four. And they were gonna stay over there, but of course now they wanna play outside. And so for those of you who are moms, you probably totally get it. In fact, if you are a mom, drop mom below. I just wanna know who my moms out there are that are hanging with me. So here's the thing. Everybody loves some meatballs, but kids, oh my goodness, they are going to love this dish. If you want the recipe for this while these meatballs are cooking up, I'll just take a second. Drop recipe below. I'll get that right over to you. Um, and I also have, in addition to this, 31 of my favorite um, recipes that really I've utilized to lose weight, maintain weight, just have really great overall health. So if that's something you'd like to grab your, get your hands on, just write yes below. I'll get that right over to you so you can have those 31 recipes. Um, most of them low FODMAP and gluten free. So again, if you're on restrictions. But guys, so basically while I was on that brief hold, I went ahead and flipped the meatballs. They're just kind of cooking up. Um, I'm gonna kind of let them sit for just a few more minutes longer so that the sides cook up and then we're gonna put those into the pot. So I'll be right back. All right, so I tilted them around, made sure that the sides were pretty much cooked. Um, if there's a slight bit of pink still left, like a couple stubborn ones, it's okay. Basically, we wanna cook them up into meatballs so that they stay meatballs in the sauce as they cook. But really, I mean, we're gonna add five more hours of cook time that's gonna be okay. But now they're tossing this in here, just lightly kind of mixing them up in the sauce is what I like to do. Some people don't even bother with that, so however you wanna do it. Uh, but I'm just kind of mixing them up with that sauce, carrot, celery mix. We got this going on. Gonna to top this. Let them cook for about five hours, and we're gonna have a delicious dinner tonight. I am not a singer, so I must apologize for putting you through that, but I'll be back in about five hours for me, a second for you. Hey guys, so we're back. It smells delicious. Wanna give you, um, wanna show this to you. I love these packs. It's jasmine rice. So if you really want kind of like a healthy starch for your meals, but need something quick, easy, convenient. Oh my goodness, 90 seconds in the microwave, boom, you are done. So this is fabulous. Again, just trying to keep things simple while we can still lose weight and have some healthy meals, right? So um, I have some rice on the plates. Um, serving that up. Again, you could do gluten-free pasta if that's not an issue, whatever kind of pasta you'd like, um, or have, um, or have it over some lettuce and have like a nice salad. But check this out, guys. I took a uh, taste test earlier because they just smelled that good. But meatballs, woo, look at that steam, ready to go. Again, if you want the recipe, just drop, drop recipe, or yeah, drop recipe below. Get that right over to you. If you want the additional 31 recipes that I'm offering, um, just drop yes in the comments below, and we'll get that right over to you. Of course, if you have any other questions or want to pick my brain about how I've lost the 61 pounds, how I went from a tight size 17 down to a 2, maintained it, did it again twice after both babies, let me know. But guys, just remember to keep healthy simple. We overcomplicate this and it doesn't have to be complicated. So have an absolutely amazing day. Bye guys.